Hi, and welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. And today we're going to be taking a closer look at this forge due to a question asked by a YouTuber. Uh, I got a question yesterday from Denny Halliman. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Denny. And he wanted more information after watching the video of me building this forge on how the burner works and how it's built. So we're going to take a look at that today, so stick around. Well, here's a closer look at the burner. And before I get uh, too far in the weeds with breaking this thing down about how I build it, I just wanted to let everybody know I'm going to do a follow-up video on this forge and all the, uh, the fine details about it. Haven't done uh, many videos uh, about this forge, so keep an eye out for that. It's coming out the next. The burner is attached to the forge using this little assembly here and this is just one inch inside diameter pipe the burner is secured in place by these three set screws and it works just like the uh, three jaw chuck on a lathe so you put the burner in, adjust it to the desired depth and I could move it out I could move it in and then you just tighten these down, give it a little crank, and it's going well, The nowhere. burner's very basic. It's just this three-quarter inch black pipe, which is three-quarter inch inside diameter. It's one inch outside diameter. And let me get my calipers. Sorry about that. And the outside diameters. 1.04 inches. So just standard three-quarter inch black pipe. And this is just a standard three-quarter inch T. And that's pretty much the gist of the burner. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. On second thought, it might be easier for me to do it from right here. Probably get some better shots this way. And what you want to do first is drill a hole top dead center into this three quarter inch T to go ahead and accept this one eighth pipe nipple. And I'll show you the business end of this thing. And it's very simple. It's just a one eighth cap drilled out and tapped to accept this MIG tip. And that's a .035 MIG tip. So I drill out the top of this insert the nipple go ahead and thread on the brass cap and then thread in the MIG tip and everything stays in place and no need to solder it or anything like that in case you want to change tips or something like that at least you have access to it once it's soldered you're going to have to I went ahead and braised this in, in place it's not the prettiest braised job but it just has to hold it. So. And from this nipple, what I've got is an adapter to go from one eighth up to the quarter inch ball valve. I couldn't find a one eighth inch ball valve, otherwise I could have skipped this one and this one. But these are just adapters to uh, take me from one eighth up to one quarter, and then one quarter back down to one eighth. And that's just a, a closed nipple. and let me grab my wrench so this is just a 1 8 inch close and that goes over to my 1 8 by quarter inch which my uh, propane hooks onto so it's very basic but it works very well And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another video coming out right after this one, showing this forge in operation and going over some of the uh, features of uh, the forge itself. So be sure and check that one out too. So there you go, Denny. It's a very simple design. 
uh, only cost a few bucks? Well, I know the question is going to come up, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it in the video. What PSI do I run this at? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't have a gauge on my regulator, and I don't have a pressure gauge on this burner. I plan to add one, like I have on my burner for my uh, aluminum melting furnace, but currently I don't have one, and as soon as I pick one up, I'm going to go ahead and install it. 